Смотри, не мрази, блядь, что сделали нахуй, по кому они бьют в туаре, блядь. Вот с такими военными они воюют. У меня, блядь, рот просто, просто рот не работает, все. Вот пизда. Не могу сказать. Я кусками поражающими оторвал полду. Вот здесь, смотрите, вот сейчас здесь горит девочка маленькая, заживо. Все, ее нет. Отец успел выйти. Смотрите, с мразями, что воюют. Кто воюет? С кем они воюют, сука, и что они делают? Вот так вот, бля. Russia's Belgorod region came under missile attack from the territory of Ukraine on March 17, Russian media reported. Some 17 apartment buildings, 9 houses, and 3 civilian infrastructure buildings were reportedly damaged in the strikes, which were said to have been launched by RM-70 Vampire rocket launchers. Casualties have been reported. It should be noted that starting from March 12, the Freedom of Russia Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps and the Siberian Battalion comprised of Russians fighting against the Russian army as part of the Ukrainian army, targeted Belgorod region. Russian fighters fighting against Russia claim that the strikes will hit military facilities and the positions of Russian troops. They have demanded the regional administration to evacuate civilians. In addition to the rocket attacks on the territory of the province, ground operations are also carried out with short breaks. Eight thousand civilian cars left Belgorod and Kursk oblasts of Russia in a day. The Freedom of Russia Legion has stated that residents of Russia's Belgorod and Kursk oblasts, in which it is currently conducting combat operations, have begun to evacuate from dangerous areas, with a total of 7,600 vehicles leaving these regions overnight.
since the announcement of the humanitarian corridor for the evacuation of civilians from Russia's Belgorod and Kursk oblasts, more than 7,000 civilian cars belonging to residents of Belgorod City and Belgorod Oblast as a whole have used it. Also, more than 600 additional civilian vehicles evacuated the city of Kursk via the corridor. The information was reportedly provided by local residents, law enforcement and security officials who oppose the Putin regime. Earlier, Russian volunteer soldiers who decided to fight on Russian territory called on residents of Kursk and Belgorod oblasts to urgently evacuate due to a special military operation on the territory of the aforementioned oblasts. To this end, they announced that a humanitarian corridor for the evacuation of the population was open from 2100 hours on the 14th of March to 700 hours on the 15th of March. After the expiration of the humanitarian corridor, the destruction of military facilities in the Belgorod and Kursk oblasts will continue until the region is completely liberated from the Putin regime's troops, the volunteer soldiers stated. On the 15th of March, residents of these oblasts were urged to remain indoors due to the intensification of hostilities in Russia and later to leave the border regions until the active phase of the limited military operation is completed. It is reported that the new humanitarian corridor will also operate overnight from 2100 hours on the 15th of March to 700 hours Moscow time on the 16th of March. Anyone who is unable to use the humanitarian corridor and leave the area of the limited military operation in time is advised to find a safe shelter. Refrain from walking outside, avoid crowds of people and vehicles and stay at home or in safe places if possible, the volunteer soldiers said.